Hey everyone, it's Matt from The Pen Habit, and as you can probably tell from my voice, I'm a little under the weather. I just got back from my annual trip to my parents' house in Utah, and uh, on the airplane or sometime while I was there, I picked up a nasty cold or a flu or something. I don't know what I got, but I've been... Uh, I've I've been sitting on my rear end for the last week in my house going stir crazy and wishing I could feel better because this is not how I wanted to spend my holiday vacation. In any case, um I wanted to do another little Matt's Musings video and talk about New Year's resolutions. Uh I used to do the New Year's resolutions every year. In fact, a long time ago on my personal blog, I used to post my resolutions at the beginning of the year and and once a month go back and do an update on how I was doing on them. Um I stopped doing that a few years ago. Um I'd say probably mainly out of laziness. Um but for the most part, I I I haven't really done New Year's resolutions for a while now. And New Year's is such an arbitrary thing anyway. It's like, oh, well, that's just the day that the Romans decided we were going to start the calendar again. Why do I need a, a specific day to get me started on, you know, on whatever it is I want to work on? But this year I decided I was going to try something a little different than I normally do. And uh, I was going to set myself some goals. Now, I don't use the term resolutions on purpose. I use the term goals pretty specifically. Um... Because So backing up just a little bit, one of the things that I struggle with is finding that balance between being happy with who you are as a person and wanting to be better, wanting to improve yourself. Um, a lot of times I lean toward the, here's this list of all these things I want to do to improve myself. Um, so because I haven't done these, I'm not the person I could be, um, you know. It, it goes along with that whole low self-esteem thing. And I'm sure there are many therapists out there who could make thousands and thousands of dollars off helping me diagnose why that is. Anyway, uh, one of the things that I've decided to do this year, though, is to give myself some goals. But instead of doing the traditional resolution style stuff like I'm going to do, I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to exercise more and I'm going to be more social or whatever it is it's going to be, I actually set some very specific and the most, I think the most importantly, quantifiable goals. So for instance, I started 2014 at 212.8 pounds. At the end of 2014, I was down to 194 pounds. So I lost just shy of 20 pounds, um, just shy of 10 kilos, I believe. Uh, but so one of my goals is I want to hit 180 pounds. I think that's doable in a, in a one-year period of time, and that's kind of the, the goal that I've set for myself. Another goal is rather than I want to exercise more, I want to run 100 miles this year. It's not a ton when you think about it, but it's more than I did last year, so I want to do that. Or I want to swim 20 miles this year. I want to pay off one specific credit card. And I said the credit card, so I know exactly how much that is. I want to save one month's emergency fund, uh, whatever it is. You know, I, I like the idea of improving yourself. I like the idea of setting goals for yourself. Um, but I think we do it wrong a lot. And we focus on these big overarching goals that we can't, we can't really, we can't really justify whether or not we actually got there. There's no, there's no way to quantify it. And they're so abstract, it's hard to keep going with them. The other thing that I'm doing this year, and uh, kind of why I'm putting it on a pen channel, other than the fact that I can, uh, is I have written my goals down using my favorite two pens. Uh, and uh, I've put them all over my house. So I've, you know, I pulled a few pages out of a Rhodia dot pad and wrote my goals down and I've got them in my bathroom and I've got them at my writing desk and I've got them here in my uh, studio control room. I've got them actually in my voiceover booth for when I do audiobook narration. Um, so I'm, I'm constantly reminded of what my personal goals for the year are. And the neat thing about this, I feel like is even if I don't hit them because there's in, in a lot of cases, there's just no way I'm going to be able to hit all of the goals I've set for myself. But I didn't want to set goals that I only knew I could hit. I wanted to stretch myself a little bit. But the thing is, even if I miss my goals, it's okay. Because if I miss them, 
chances are I'm closer to them at the end of the year than I was at the beginning of the year. And that's progress. And any progress is a win. It doesn't, you don't have to get to the end to, to have a win. All you have to do is be further ahead than where you were before. And that's a win. So that's what I've been doing. So, uh, yeah, that those are some of my goals. I've got a goal to get a certain number of YouTube subscribers on the Pen Habit channel. I'm uh, I'm making some good progress toward that, but I'm not going to tell you what that number is until I hit it. Um, I've got some goals for paying off specific debts. Um, 2014, I paid off three credit cards, my piano, my car, and a student loan. So I made a, a bunch of uh, a payoff. So I'm going to keep that up in 2015, and. Uh, and I'm going to keep going on my uh, exercise goals. I I didn't do quite as good a job as Brian Goulet did on his uh, 30 by 30, but I'm I'm making some good progress. I've got another 15 pounds to go to get down to my goal weight, and uh, and then my goal for the rest of the year is just stay there, and that's I think a good goal. So anyway, just wanted to share my thoughts on New Year's resolutions and goals. Uh, let me know if you set any for yourself or if you have any tips or tricks that you use to to keep going with them, keep yourself motivated. Oh, the other thing I did want to mention, one of the things that I have, uh, I've insisted on starting to do is every time I sit down to journal, uh, pulling it back to fountain pens again, is at the very end of every journal, I, I write a comment or a note about how I'm doing on one of my specific goals. So it's in my mind almost every day when I write in my journal. So at the end of the day, I draw a line across what I finished writing and then just put goal and write the goal and then a quick two or three sentence note on where I am. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Ah, the joys of viruses. Anyway, um, Hope you enjoyed this little musing. I will be back soon with another pen review video. And as always, you know, be sure to head over to penhabit.com. I've always got stuff going on over there, including we're going to be having some guest posts from uh, guest bloggers coming up here pretty shortly. So thank you again for watching, and we'll see you here next time on The Pen Habit. Bye. <laughs>